One of the things I love about Vim is that it gives you a vocabulary for working with your text. And when you learn it, it'll really change the way you think. In this video, we're gonna go over some of my favorite word emotions and text objects that will really supercharge the way you use Vim. So let's go. We're gonna start with a little bit of plain text. There are two commands you can use between an operator and a word emotion to have that operator take effect on a higher level. For example, if we have anywhere of this word selected, we can type V-I-W to select the entire word. We can use other operators like Y-I-W to yank the entire word or C-I-W to just change a word. Instead of using I to work with inside of a word, we can also use A to work with an entire word. For example, we can just use D-A-W to delete an entire word as well as the surrounding space which is nice if we want to use the dot formula to repeat this. We can also use VIS to select an entire sentence or VIP to select an entire paragraph. We can use DAP to delete an entire paragraph, including the white space. And again, we can use other operators like GUIP to capitalize an entire paragraph. The mnemonic here is A for working with a text object and I for working inside the text object. One of the most common text objects you're going to work with is quoted text. For example, we can do CI quote to change inside this quotation. And we don't even need to have any part of this quote selected. We can be at the first column and do CI quote and immediately jump to and change inside the first quotes found. This also works with single quotes and backticks. You would just do change inside single quote. And if you want to work with the entire quote instead of just what's within the quotations, you use A. So C A single quote. And we can change that to the kind of quote we want. This is super handy when doing some refactoring, like extracting a variable. We can do change a quote, name this input one, drop input one up here and paste. Another set of text objects that you probably work with all the time is inside parentheses, brackets, and braces. So we can do VIB to select everything inside these parentheses. And if that's confusing, we can also use the parentheses key. And just like we showed with the quotes, we don't even need to have this text object selected. So we can be earlier in the line, do CIB to change inside the parentheses, name this, and drop it here. This also works with things like square brackets and curly braces. So we can do V I curly brace to select everything inside or V A curly brace to select the entire thing. You do need to be careful when working with nested text objects. For example, if we were to do the same thing here, we're accidentally going to select the entire contents of the outer text object instead of this inner one. So, in order to select the inner one, we just need to put our cursor on any part of that and we're good to go. And if you're working with a tag based language like XML or HTML, there's two more text objects that come in really handy. One object is just what's found between an opening and a closing angle bracket. So we can use CI angle bracket to change just this tag. And like the other text objects we looked at, we can use A to work with the entire thing. For example, D a angle bracket to delete an entire angle bracket. And we can also use T to work with the opening, closing tag, and the inner content all at once. For example, I can do VIT to highlight just what's inside, or we could do DAT to delete an entire tag and its contents. All right, there you have it. Now you know about some of my favorite word motions and text objects, but Nothing becomes automatic just by watching a video. So in the description below, there will be a link to a cheat sheet as well as a file that you can download, open up in your own copy of Vim, and try it out for yourself. Peace.